Yo, it's your boy, the Irish Rasta. Welcome to episode 104. Oh, I hope you're doing well. I hope everything's going good in your life. And as per usual, before we get into all the good shit, like, subscribe, follow, follow the YouTube, follow the socials, follow the TikTok, find all of that shit in the link in the description, but you can also find it at irishrasta.com. Let's go! First good news story of the day. This is fire. This is actually an update to a story that we covered last year. We're breaking news. We're reporters. I'm reporting live from the enzyme factory. But last year we talked about this enzyme that they found in uh, leaves, um, which helps break down leaves. Uh, a French firm that has taken an enzyme found in decomposing leaves and tweaked it so it can decompose plastic instead, now has opened a demonstration plant where they are showing their recycling process can achieve the goals that they predicted 18 months ago. Fire! So they've teamed up with PepsiCo, L'Oreal, and Nestle, and they're hoping to this for this uh, factory, this processing plant, to be a proof of concept. So at their new plant, uh, the reactor, about the size of a cargo van, has the capacity to process around 100,000 ground-up plastic bottles in just 10 to 16 hours. So that's around two tons of ground-up uh, PET, polyethylene ter 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 terephthalate the most common form of plastic pet that's why they call it pet so uh the that's crazy because it's like so a, a cargo van which is like i guess like a van that take like let's just say like a a, a rubbish a rubbish van a, a dump truck van um so if you had 20 of those you'd be able to process 2 million ground up bottles a day like how, what a city of 1 million people I mean, I guess, like, yeah, you could, I guess, yeah, people would make two plastic bottles a day. That's kind of crazy to think even, isn't it? Like, you'd make 15 plastic bottles in a week. That's nuts. Um, but this is crazy. So it breaks down the, the polymers, long, complicated molecules, into monomers, smaller, simple building blocks. Uh, simple smaller simple building blocks smaller simple building blocks separated uh, separating the two major components of polyethylene oh, there's too many words so they just make it fucking they break it back down into the shit so you can make new plastic out of it very cool good for you guys and it's so great it's nice to see something where you're like oh you know you see positive things and you're like oh hopefully one day this will go somewhere and then you're like oh oh here we are it's gone somewhere and then in like a year or two it'll be like even it'll go somewhere else and that's the thing you know like as as bleak as things seem sometimes if there's hope the hope multiplies and then it's exponential isn't it but obviously you know if you feel different hit me up in the comments okay anyway next story uh this is fire the world's largest aircraft uh dubbed the flying bum <laughs> so british as you be look at their flying ass that's a big old big old flying booty uh, but the british flying bum to be uh, ready for passengers and transportation uh, in 2025 i just think this is such a cool fucking way to fly like it's such a chill like it's like it's like gives obviously gives you hindenburg vibes but it's not going to be like that uh because i don't know why it's not going to be like that but i'm pretty sure they'll learn from the hindenburg and if it's like the hindenburg i'm not going if it's not if it's full of hydrogen i'm not going in it if it's a, if it's a giant floating bomb i don't worry i'm not going to go in it but it just seems like so essentially the transportation with the airlander attempts to be smoother more vivid and comfier as passengers can relax in a cabin without the buzz or vibration that may be faced on uh, other flights furthermore the aircraft is clad floor to ceiling windows that allow for plenty of natural light to enter the interior while providing passengers with a panoramic view looking outside i just think that would be such a beautiful way because my favorite part of a flight is the takeoff and the set down and if you could just be like at that level where you can just like look out the window the whole time i wouldn't care if the flight was four times longer but look at these cabins my god it's beautiful look at that just flying over that's the fucking future right there in a fucking electric air balloon floating down oh fuck a bus fuck a train fuck a plane that's the business instead of one giant cabin like that they should have like four long thin ones so everybody gets a window seat i want it to be nothing but window seat baby just like how everybody secretly was just kfc was just nothing for seasoning and toast and butter was just actually just hot butter poured into their mouth and they said it's going to be more like ideal for flights like i don't know like um from london to edinburgh or seattle to uh vancouver that kind of vibe short haul but uh, I think it's awesome. And it's uh, currently the model that they have uses 10 times less 
CO2, or produces 10 times less CO2 than a regular flight, but eventually they're hoping to have a completely electric one. So very sick. Love it. Love it, 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 love it. Okay, this is fucking insane. Japanese octogenarian skateboarder learns new tricks. Stop it. Get the fuck out of here. What are you talking about? That's not real. What are you, are you insane? I know Japan's crazy, but that's just on another level. Yoshio Kinoshita is living proof that you can teach an old dog new tricks. The 81-year-old rides ramps at his local skate park in the city of Osaka almost every morning, picking up tips from skateboarders decades younger than him. That's a fucking understatement. They are all my teachers, said Kinoshita, we worked as a t uh, who worked as a technician in the construction industry before retiring and still works part-time as an attendant in a bicycle parking lot. Uh, at first, I was holding onto the railing, he said. Yeah, goddamn right. But uh, before he progressed to mastering a 180-degree turn and other tricks. I'll be dead ass, homie. I can't always do a 180-degree turn. I I get the little nerves. I'm like, oh, open up a fall and break my head. This motherfucker is 81. You're going to fucking break your hip, fam. What? <laughs> I mean, this is amazing. This is giving me so much hope. But I'm just like, what? <laughs> what is, what are you? How are you? How is this possible? Are you, like, secretly, like, uh... Like a Marvel hero or some shit? Uh, Kinoshita picked up skateboarding just two years ago when he was at the fucking sprightly age of 79. When he bought a board he saw at a market selling unclaimed goods left on the railway. Oh my god. I wonder if they mean on the railway or like at the railway. Like, do people just leave the shit on the railway or are they not important? Okay, so the $7.15 board, which is a bargain if it actually skates, like, well, I assume it skates because he could ride. Not important. Okay, so it's a spur of the moment purchase that changed the octogenarian's life. Akinoshita, who has two children and two grandchildren, said he watched skateboarders at the recent Tokyo Olympics in awe. All three medalists in the women's street skateboarding competition and the games were in their teens, including the country's own gold medalist, 13 year old momiji nishiha i hope i said that right and the women's skateboarding was won by teenagers including the gold was won by a 13 year old that's crazy that is really crazy but i god damn it i think it might be crazier that this 81 year old man is even skateboarding at all he must have fallen off right like he must have fallen off i thought when old people fell over that they just broke did they not just like pfft, just then, then their hip just pops into dust and then they die. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? He's been skating for two years. There's no way he's been skating for two years and he hasn't fallen off his board. Like, there's just no way. That's impossible. Uh, absolutely impossible. <laughs> no one can skate for two years and not fucking fall off their board. And he hasn't died. I can't. I can't. I can't. This is... This is amazing. I love I loved this quote too. He says, They are really incredible, says Kinoshita. To be honest, I can't beat those five-year-old, four-year-old, or three-year-old kids. That's for sure. No fucking shit, my guy. They'll beat you through attrition. Uh, even if a two-year-old, a two-year-old could just fall off of a skateboard all day. That's, they're made out of rubber. You, you're made out of, you're made out of uh, glass noodles. Look at him, he's, he's sat cross-legged. Oh my god. What the fuck? But what is he like? Does he do yoga? Does he? Does he? What does he? Does he train as a fucking athlete? He just is a parking attendant and worked at an architecture firm. What? Japanese people are built different. Oh my god! I'm sorry. This is kind of, just kind of upsetting. Uh, not upsetting. Just like what? My brain is just like no. I don't. I can't believe this. <laughs> Amazing. Anyway, shout out to this dude. Shout out to whatever they got in the water in Japan. That is fire. Oh my god. Random question. What you got for me, baby? Uh, what do you wish they would teach you at school that they don't? Oh my god. Honestly, I wish they would teach you a lot a lot less and a lot more. <laughs> like, I wish they wouldn't teach everybody dumb shit like fucking calculus and trigonometry and shit. Like, teach kids how to do basic math, right? Everybody should be really good at basic math. And then just fucking let the kids who want to go do math do math. Who does trigonometry? Builders learn it on the job. Oh, yes, that's what I hear. People be like, well, actually, I use trigonometry often. You're like, oh, yeah, yeah, well, for what? We'll, we'll learn it on the job. You can learn it when you need it. It's, it's not a fucking life skill. You can get on the tube. You can become a lawyer. You can fucking do heart surgery without needing to know trigonometry. It's fucking stupid that we make everybody know fucking algebra. It's all fucking, that's just nonsense. I'm not saying that those things don't have value. I'm just saying making fucking trigonometry and algebra as part of the fucking core calculus. Uh, for uh, the core 
fucking uh what is it not calculus the core fucking curriculum is is just that's just ridiculous uh ridiculum that's just the curricular direct director curricular curriculum less i wish they would teach you less of that shit in school and i wish they would teach you like two things i wish they would teach people more how to fucking just like find out what they're interested in because like that's like I feel like they go about it in the reverse direction where they're like, well, well, we don't know what you're what you're gonna do, so we'll just teach you everything. So, you, so, so then you have a good chance of doing it all. And you're like, what the fuck? And then people just get overwhelmed, like learning a bunch of shit that they really don't understand or need to know or care about. And then you go out, and then you're like, fuck. Now I gotta like find out what I fucking care about. And then you fucking zone in on that, and then you forget all the other shit, and then you have to learn a bunch of new shit specific to that, right? Just teach everybody how to fucking write English, like, and fucking speak good words and learn. A couple other languages and fucking learn ma basic basic math and then just fucking let kids know like yo what are you interested in okay well then like you can study some more of that and like okay study some more of that and get really good at that because people be tripping like oh they gotta get a good fucking they gotta know a lot of science and they gotta go to do good, good geography and they gotta get some history and then you gotta and you're like no they fucking don't fam like no one's good at everything that's ridiculous like people need to be good at some stuff like but they can also be like quite good at a lot of stuff they can specialize there's a fucking million ways to do it so like what they should teach you at school is how to find like your interests and then also they should just teach you like perspective like hey don't fucking freak out and like worry about these fucking random ass people around you and like be thinking that school is the most important thing ever because guess what in five years you're not going to fucking know most of these people you're probably not even going to be living here and like none of this will have any effect on you but right now it just feels like oh my god this is the whole world <laughs> And it's just fucking not. I, obviously, I speak with a, I have a biased perspective as someone who went to school, did not like feel like they they really did uh, did a good job of sort of um, really getting across like how life was actually going to be. Um, so obviously, that's just my opinion. And that's my rant over. Thanks, random question generator. Whew. You got me all fired up. Boom, baby. This is the the freestyle generator. I changed it all up. I'm very pleased with it. So like now, you come on here. You got your you got your regular shit. You can change the word amount, change the word length, bring that up to ten, change the word count to two, and then uh, if you want, if you need them, if you need them beats, you need that inspiration, you just hit that button. Oh, you just got a beat button. Yeah, son, you get beat from the beat button. Disgusted. Something that we fuck around and we disgusted. What you want? Mm. Clothes with, I said niggas no. Allegedly, I smoked bliss, but I didn't even lo know this. I just saw the show, and he was fucking talking, bro. And I was like, that's crazy shit. It's like Fight Club, it's Tyler Durden. I said, yeah, the rhyming person is Tyler Durden. I'm like a moccasin and rock the victims. I said, the shoe circus. Oh my God, I'm sorry, that wasn't something I wanted to do. Do purpose of my, my new purpose. I move, work it, I do work it. I move with it, I move with it, the smooth wicket. Mm, I said, smooth wickets, trying to get some, uh huh, don't play cricket, but I do wickets, woo whip it. I said, I'm move with it i said oh oh sue british i said two british like i do twiglets two twiglets and move crickets and move wicket i said i'm trying to get the bomb but i do quidditch i said i've slew snitches like the shoot was still quidditch if you want a moment i move with it i'm so swift i'm too swift and i'm too splash i'm too flash if you want to do but then catching it like a news flash the cake operation baked off and blazing i said baked off and blazing like a cake operation yeah, it's, it's in the code i said yes i'm getting baked and then i'm getting stoned I said yes, I said I'm riding in the river though I said it wasn't much of a fucking frickin' code I said I'm getting lost in the snow Traveling through the mountains like Riffendale Whipping low, whipping slow I said I'm like the hobbits and I'm fucking got it though I got it bro, it's a solid tale, a soul tale I said yes, I'm so tail I said yes, I said about the fucking I said I rode there on their coattails So hold oh, well, I said oh well These niggas know that I won't go there If it's no jail, I won't go oh, jail if you know jail, I would not go to jail. I don't want to go there. Wherever cover and niggas know that I'm scared of lovers. If you want to do what I'm getting on, but I prepare for supper. I, pre I prepare for supper with the fucking giant pound of vegan butter. I fucking need a lover. I need a lover with vegan butter. I'd eat it of her. Yeah. Yeah,
I need a lover, a vegan you lover fail. with the vegan you butter. Fail. I'ma eat it up and fuck around with a fight cat. The fight cat, if I fight cast and I strike back, nigga, self-defense. What you wanna do? I welcome in. I welcome it with the fight cat. Practicing my jujitsu. I said I get to, uh huh. I said I too get to. The food gets to. I said the fuck around the fur jitsu. I word you, woo woo. That didn't work well. Help 20. I said, yes, I'm trying to get a fuck around. I spent my first nine. Now I'm on my 10th penny. I said, me, I'm trying to rig around and get my, I'm trying to get my 12th Bentley. But with the 10th penny, I'll have to do that fucking thing, that eBay swapping shit. I swapped my penny for another penny and it was a rare one. And then I took that penny, got a fucking rare gun. And then I robbed a nigga with a Bentley. Yeah, that was the best shit. That, ooh, I ain't gonna have to get up in the damn mood. I'm in the damn mood trying to fit some mad truth. I'm trying to spit some mad truths at you but not trying to be all like condescending and shit i said me i'm trying to fucking drop up into the whip copping all of the whip like i let the adjectives rain i let the nouns and adjectives rain down and splash the kids i said these people know that i'ma have to get this is handing this like kalashnikovs like kalashnikovs i said i'm blasting off hit it with the ball glasses off like my name was davidoff ran a lot i said i ran a lot hand to god maradona oh, that's the reference football game on the point i I said, got references from like 10 years ago. People like, damn, did he just say David Davidoff? I said, yeah, yeah. I think I need shorter words. I'm more disturbed. I'm more disturbed by the shorter words, so for sure. I said, I'm trying to get that new burden. I said, yes, I need a new surgeon. I said, the needle talk. I said, fuck around, niggas. They be see me and then motherfucking bleed them off. I beat them off. Balls. I beat them all, but I don't beat them off. I said, I catch them, I fucking see them at the easy mall. Lead them all. I said, what you want to do with it? If I fucking run around and playing the Ouija board with the Ouija board, I said I move them all like it was a Ouija board. Believe me, dog. I said, believe me, dog. I move them like a Ouija board. Live able. If you catch me, I fuck around and putting bets down on my table. You better be mind stable, stable mind with the bluff face. Niggas know I'm coming from a rough face. I punch, I, I punch faces. I said, nah, I'm just fucking. This is just fucking rap violence. If niggas know that I rap silent, rap silent. The mind raps. I wouldn't try that. I like that word rap. Niggas no, I heard that. Churches, purchase, the churches. I said I purchased the churches. That's not what, yeah, but not the chicken shop. I fucking kick it hot. I said fuck around. Shit, I'm a flippers top, flippers top, like I'm flipping tops, like I'm flinging pogs. I said these niggas know that I'm a fucking lay them off. Whoa, lay them off, or lay them off like bad bosses. I said yes, I said I act mad. Abnoxious, the plasnosis, a panosis. I said I'm trying to do with my prognosis is practice. Pragnostic, a pan profit, a man profit. I'm trying to get some mad profits like them bad bosses. I said, What you want to do? I'm trying to can drop it. I said, The can popping. I said, I ran off and I said, Held in joy. I said, Yes, I said, I carry around the bomb with the heat and I'll be welding boys. Metal toys, they be welding boys. I said, Yes, I fuck around and I'm making the fucking hella noise. I said, Fuck around screaming at my backstage like it was some Ellen noise. Fucking Ellen loud. I fucking Ellen now. Fuck around with the fucking. Fucking trying to get some telling now. What you want? Mm. Clothes with. I said niggas no. Allegedly I smoked bliss, but I didn't even lo know this. I just saw the show and he was fucking talking, bro. And I was like, that's crazy shit. It's like Fight Club. It's Tyler Durden. I said, yeah, the rhyming person is Tyler Durden. I'm Ed Norton. In real life, I'm just Ed Norton. I'm well boring. I'm well boring like Ed Norton. I'm dead snoring. And yeah, but niggas know. But in my other life, you fuck around. I've been, I'll be fucking tough. Yeah, <laughs> tough, you know what it'd be like. That has been Irish Rasta Show episode 104. If you're here to the end, oh my God, thank you for doing the damn thing. I appreciate you the most. Yo, you can find all of the good shit in the links in the description below. Like, subscribe, follow, all of that. And you can find it also at irishrasta.com. You can also find a link to the shop. And you can get the Hug Life design anywhere you want to, anytime you want to. I feel like I just tried to start singing a song there. Anywhere you want to. Anyway, you weed. Okay, anyway, so uh, anyway, thank you for watching the damn thing. Uh, I will catch you in the next one, and I hope everything is going well with you. Peace. Our son's done it. The gods never run it. For runs, get up, when the weight got on it. My soul was the weapon. My mind keeps stepping in the depths of hell. Yet I fell from the lesson. My soul leaves the body. The situation's naughty. Original, invincible. There's one stool and party. A class for the better. Cause I be writing letters. And setting shit straight. One, one lamp and one, one shepherd. shepherd. My face turns purple. And demons in the circle held my breath. Then I left out the wrong kind of fertile. From the east, the light shines. Unto the west.
rest A test for the gods Cause Mecca's where they rest Universe serenity Blocking out the enemy If anyone makes it Then that's the way it's meant to be Rider, the time's up a fighter Cause I'll survive life Then step